Volcanoes are some of the most impressive and destructive natural forces in the world. They've shaped our planet and inspired countless amazing school science experiments. But Earth is hardly unique in that respect. We found volcanoes almost everywhere we've looked in the solar system. Some might even provide the spark for alien life. On Earth, volcanoes are vents in the crust of the planet through which hot rocks, steam and ash can reach the surface. But elsewhere, all sorts of strange geology is at play. Before we get into volcanoes in space, let's remind ourselves just how powerful they can be on Earth. Eruptions are spectacular phenomena, as Hawaii's Kilauea volcano showed in 2018. Their impact can be felt thousands of kilometers away. In 2010, Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull volcano created an ash cloud so huge that it forced about 100,000 flights to be cancelled. As destructive as these eruptions were, they're just your ordinary run-of-the-mill volcanoes. Lying dormant under Yellowstone National Park in the US is something much bigger, a supervolcano. Underneath it is a massive chamber of molten magma, enough to fill the Grand Canyon more than 11 times over. If it were to blow, the environmental fallout would be immense. Hans Graf and his team at the University of Cambridge estimate that a super eruption would cause global temperature to fall by one degree Celsius. Several centimeters of ash would blanket North America. The oceans would become more acidic and plant growth across the world would be disrupted for years to come. Quite simply, it would threaten the very fabric of our civilization. But there's no need to panic just yet. Cataclysmic supervolcano activity is extremely rare. The last time it happened was 75,000 years ago at Toba on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. It spewed 2,500 cubic kilometers of magma, nearly twice the volume of Mount Everest, making it the biggest volcano eruption we've seen on Earth in the last two million years or so. Though they can be a threat to human life, volcanoes may also be the very reason for our existence. Underwater volcanoes create hot springs called hydrothermal vents, which some scientists think may be where life got started on Earth. If you want to learn more about that, watch our video about the origins of life. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. On Earth, volcanic activity is powered by heat from radioactive elements that were locked away when the planet formed four and a half billion years ago. Mercury, Venus and Mars all formed in the same way at the same time. But while Venus still has active volcanoes today, the others only show evidence of ancient lava flows. Being smaller than Earth, their warmth has long since radiated away. Olympus Mons on Mars, the highest volcano in the solar system at about twice the height of Everest, hasn't erupted in about 25 million years. But recently, scientists found evidence of an eruption in a part of Mars called Cerberus Fossae as recently as 53,000 years ago. That would suggest it's possible that some parts of Mars may still be volcanically active today. Beyond Mars, the solar system gets colder still, so it had been assumed there was little hope of finding active volcanoes. But we were in for a shock. In 1979, the Voyager 1 probe visited Jupiter's moon Io and spotted plumes of material at least 100 kilometers high, and glowing blue eruptions from the 200 kilometer wide Lochy Patera volcano. When Cassini visited Saturn's moon Enceladus in 2005, it found plumes of water shooting into space. It turns out that these plumes come from a saltwater ocean hidden below Enceladus's icy surface, kept warm by tidal heating caused by the gravitational tug of nearby bodies. These forces also open and close fissures on Enceladus's crust, allowing the plumes of water to shoot out. Cassini was actually able to fly through the plumes and sample them, showing that they contained mineral grains, sodium salts, and complex carbon-based molecules. All of this means that Enceladus's oceans may be a lot like ours, with liquid water, organic chemicals, and an energy source, all the ingredients necessary for life. They might even have hydrothermal vents, just like ours. If you want to hear more about the latest discoveries in our solar system, subscribe to New Scientist magazine using the link in the description to get 20% off. Even in the coldest reaches of the solar system, there's volcanic activity going on. When New Horizons flew past Pluto, it saw mountains with holes in the top. These are thought to be ice volcanoes, fueled by an underground ocean of water kept liquid despite the freezing temperature by a dash of ammonia. We're not sure how it gets the heat needed to sustain volcanic activity, but it's possible that methane gas trapped in its icy crust may act as an insulating layer of planetary bubble wrap. We've even found evidence of volcanism on asteroids. Observations of the asteroid belt object Psyche by the Hubble Space Telescope hint that there are flows of iron lava on its surface. A NASA spacecraft is due to visit in 2026 to get a closer look. 
Discoveries like these are challenging our ideas about what volcanoes are and where we might find them. Almost everywhere we've looked in the solar system, we found wild and wonderful volcanism. That doesn't mean we can expect to find life in all these places, but one thing that life does need is energy. Discovering that volcanoes are widespread in our planetary neighbourhood suggests they may be common across the cosmos as well, and that can only be encouraging for the prospects of life erupting on other planets. Whoa! It's erupting!